Well, gang, as that one person right there is saying, at last, the final match, we have reached what I believe is the end of Pokemon Sword. Although I did think that before, so <laughs> I guess we'll we'll find out. I've thought that many a times now. No, I don't want to go to Rose Tower. I want to go to... I guess I don't know how to take the taxi there. Never mind. I guess we're riding there then. I... Oh, do you take me? If you want to get around Winden. Okay, so I, I have to go to this guy specifically. Alright, so there's a... Oh my gosh, wait, hold on. Hold on a telephone here. Oh, we actually, there's actually a little animation for it. That's adorable. Um, and we got Team Yell cheering us on. We got those random people, whoever they are. Uh, this is exciting. We finally reached the pinnacle of Pokemon Sword after that whole, that whole shindig in the last one. I don't know what he's going to lead with. I just want to lead with Brokey because he's our main dude, our, our main, our main bro, our main Brokey and partner this entire time. Our best friend and our Pokemon companion. And it's finally time. This is the final match against the champion. The championship match. Are you ready to face Leon? I'm ready to beat him. Then change in uniform and head out onto the pitch. Here we go. We got equal amount of people cheering for us as we are Leon. It's a 50-50 split as the crowd is undecided on who they want to win. We better get a cape, by the way. I don't know if we do, but we better get a cape. My matches are always sold out, but this... I've never seen a crowd this wild. Everyone knows what you did for this week, Hardy. They know that you're the one who fought Eternatus and saved the future of the Galar region. A real hero who battled alongside the legendary Pokemon Zaxian and Zamazenta. I couldn't have dreamed of a better challenger to help increase my winning streak. Now that I've seen just what kind of strength you possess is the greatest of challengers. Crushing you into the dirt will show everyone just how strong their champion truly is. Come on, Hardy. Let's make this a final match that'll go down in Galar's history. No. A match that'll change Galar forever. We're going to have an absolute champion time. You ruined that epic moment. Ruined it. Oh my god, he does the hop thing! The, oh, that's great! Alright, so all we know is that he has a Charizard. The cape has come off and Age of Slash has come out. I have a... Actually, not horrible either, because I have Dark-type moves on, on uh, Brokey. We both possess the power of Dynamax, although his may be slightly bigger than ours. It's one of Zuzi's champion to get the crowd fired up. The crowd is chanting along with the song. This is so amazing. Let's knock this thing off, though. King Shield. Oh, that's that's quite unfortunate. Should have saw that one coming. So our tech stat is going to go down. That's okay. Um... Is this like 8-bit music? This is really cool. So yeah, that's not gonna do very much. Oh, level 62! Oh, okay, well that's great. Um, what level am I? 56? Oh boy, I'm, oh this, oh boy. That's not great. Uh, <laughs> Shadow Ball is probably gonna do a lot of damage to us. I didn't realize we we're gonna be, yeah, six levels beneath, that's, that's lovely. So I'm gonna assume he's gonna go for the King Shield, so let's, Oh, that's, that's, that's unfortunate. Flash Cannon. Give me a double. Alright, so he's taunted now, so he can't go for King Shield at least. So I should be able to send in... Uh, let's send in Skirber to hopefully get him with a really nice strong Fire Lash while he's in his offensive mode. And maybe, you know, knock it out. That would be great. We are faster. Age of Slash is down. It is five versus five now as this championship match continues. And we have the power of revives that people keep shoving into our bag. Seismitoad is out next. Well, that just figures. <laughs> That's really unfortunate. Uh, of all things to come out next is a Seismitoad. 
Oh, uh, all right. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to pop a revive. Uh, we'll send out. Um, I'll send out Razzle in the meantime to hopefully take a hit while we heal up Brokey. Yeah, I. It never occurred to me that I should maybe do some training before the fight. I just assume that. 64. <laughs> I just assumed that we were at the proper level curve. Oh no! <laughs> okay, well that's alright, we got seven max revives. I uh, I really hope I won't have to use all seven of those, but it's alright, because it's not a Nuzlocke, so I don't feel bad if I, you know, cheat the system, if you will. But our Razzle is a tough little berry, and he's gonna uh, drill pack. Get a little bit of pre-damage off liquidation. Seismitoad, okay, so Seismitoad's faster than Razzle, so he's probably gonna be faster than our Brokey as well, which means he probably has like Ice Punch or something, just just to try to ruin my day. Razzle, I'm gonna let you go down. Thank you. Okay, yeah, I, I was hoping maybe, maybe he would live, maybe, but I didn't hear the little beeping noise, so I should have known. All right, well this one's gonna be a slightly easier matchup at least, unless he switches out. What if the AI is suddenly like, you know, smart? We're faster though. Not gonna get a chance to switch out. Well, I guess he would have had a chance to switch out. I sorry, this next Pokemon's gonna weak to be weak to flying and steel. By the way, I hope you guys know that. It's gonna be a fighting fairy type. Cinder race. Cinder race. That's that's the final evolution of Scorb of Score Bunny. So that's who is the fire one. <gasps> Did he take the little score bunny that was abandoned at the beginning of the series? That's what is this what happened to the score bunny? That's so sad. Oh, I feel really sad for it. So this is not great because I need Smucker for the Charizard. Um so Let's try Shork. The crowd is very lightly in the background singing along, and it's just, just beautiful. All right, am I right? I'm not named, by the way. I am. There's Cinderace. So for the very first time in this series, you guys get to see the Digimon protagonist. That's not a Pokemon. Come on. They, they have our two Pokemon out here have very similar body types, right? But the difference here is just the design of it. Like mine kind of looks like a standing Pokemon. The other one, I just don't like Cinderace. It, I, I don't know what to tell you guys. I don't know. Maybe you guys are super fans. Also, we are getting... Okay, that was really badass. Now I feel bad for talking crap about it because that might have been like the coolest move animation I've ever seen. And finishing me off with a quick attack just to hurt my feelings. Wow, okay, you know what, it went up like one or two cool points there, but not that much, not that much. It, it's still pretty, pretty well on my list so far. Uh, hopefully Skibber can maybe finish this thing off with a crunch. Probably not, it's, is it level 64? It's level 64, let's see how much a crunch can do. It has acrobatics, oh no, oh no. <laughs> oh, I didn't go into, um... I didn't go into my turtle because the one time I assume like well this is gonna have a fighting type move because it actually looks like a fighting type unlike Embor who is I don't know why a fighting type I look I'd love an explanation if anybody had one okay so it doesn't have the rock type move I was or the fighting type move I was scared of and even then actually I don't know if we would have lived that that even that acrobatics did so much damage okay apparently Cinderace just has uh, incredibly incredible attacking power um, all right let's continue Haxorus is out next oh my god <laughs> my little hat girl you gotta come through for me here oh man this is an all-star team of Pokemon right here he has two fire types though so that is that is one of his weaknesses so far the mold breakers fine it is nine levels higher than me <laughs> But let's see what a Dazzling Gleam can do. Iron Tail! Oh no, sorry. 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this is bad. This is not good. Oh. <laughs> How am I gonna get through this? He still has three Pokemon. He still has the Charizard. Going for the Outrage. Now I really wish I still had my... Okay, we lowered the speed. So... Uh... That's good. I, I guess. Um... Okay, with speed lowered, we might be able to outspeed it with the Durnable. We gotta go for it. Ah, uh, I probably should have healed up Razzle instead. Another Outrage, a Confusion would be great. A Confusion and us being faster is is the dream combo right now. Actually, no, I would have wanted him to get a third turn. Never mind. If he would have been locked into Outrage for a third turn, that would have been the perfect situation. So I, I take it back. I don't want Confusion because it's probably still going to outspeed me. No! <laughs> it missed! It missed! There is hope for us after all and my little hat girl gets the kill! I'm so proud of you. You did great. You did great. Alright, who's up next? Dragapult. What? What the fuck is that thing? Okay, um... Oh, that must be the evolution of that little ghost dragon thing we saw way back when. So that's the pseudo-legendary of this generation, huh? It's got... Does it have little pre-evolutions of itself on its head that it uses as missiles? That's pretty badass. Shadow Ball? That's, that's no good. Wow, Shadow Ball is really slow in this... Come on, hat girl, you got this! Oh, that hurt my heart. Okay, Max revive to... Uh, Razzle. Let's go with Razzle. Thank you so much, hat girl. You made me so proud. Shadow Ball goes really slow in this generation. It's kind of freaking me out. Oh, it gets bigger as it goes over, though. That, that I mean, that's pretty cool. Oh, so it's Ghost Dragon. It's Ghost Dragon type. Okay. So... Did I make the right choice there with Razzle? I think I did. Probably. I don't know. <laughs> I would assume I did. And a Drill Peck. Because Power Trip I don't think would knock out. But a Drill Peck should. <gasps> uh oh. No, Razzle, Razzle, Razzle. Okay. Razzle made it through. This is a pseudo-legendary. I should have known it's going to have all these insane moves on it. Shadow Ball, Thunderbolt. Uh, pro who knows what other kind of moves it had. A dragon move, obviously. But finally, the last but not least, is Charizard. I'm not finished having a champion time here. And I won't let anyone else finish it for me. Here comes this Charizard. I'm going to let Razzle stay in here. We're going to see the Gigantamax Charizard as I'm going to give one last healing item to my boy Smuckers, who will hopefully be able to finish this fight. Wait a minute. Oh no, it's gonna set up Sun and use Solar Beam. Oh no, I should have just switched. I should have just switched. I should have just let it set up Sun. Oh no, 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 no. It's gonna use Solar Beam. It's gonna 110% have Solar Beam, oh no. It has Fire Wings. Oh my god, that is terrifying. It's a champion's time to turn up the heat. G-Max Wildfire! Oh my gosh, I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna have... Solar Beam. It didn't set up sun. This is our chance. It didn't set up any sun. There's no way it would have any other grass move besides that, right? What level is this Charizard? It's 65. We need to Dynamax. We need to go for the Rockfall. Smuckers, you need to end this thing in our final fight. We're each down to one Pokemon. I should have healed something. <laughs> Make me proud, boy.
Smuckers, Max, Rockfall! Oh, it wouldn't have to charge for Solar Beam if it's a max move. Oh. Right. I guess I gotta go train. <laughs>